In the next three minutes, I will convince you of something you've literally never thought in your entire life. Bat sex is important. Now, I work on mating systems, the process through which males and females in a population find and select mates. For example, monogamy, polygamy, promiscuity. There's one mating system you haven't heard of, however, and that's lek breeding. Lek breeding is a very rare mating system, almost never seen in mammals, where the males in a population aggregate and produce sexual displays for visiting females. The females then appraise those displays and select mates based on the quality of those displays. To classify a species as a lek breeder, there's four criteria that have to be met, and I've used some analogies in human behavior to help explain them. The first is the defining characteristic that the males are aggregated while they're displaying. The females receive no resources from the males they mate with, just genes. The females select the males they mate with, and the males contribute no parental care to the resulting offspring. Now, I work on the species in the center there, and that is a lesser short-tailed bat. And short tails are interesting for a number of reasons. They are endangered and endemic to New Zealand. They are half of New Zealand's native land mammals. They are the most terrestrial bat in the world. They actually run on the ground. And they may use a lek mating system. During the breeding season, males will actually uh, occupy small roosts and trees, and they'll sing like a bird to attract passing females. These singing roosts are aggregated in space, and so the fact that the males are singing and the fact that they're clustered is always suggested lek mating, but nobody's ever actually studied them before. Through my research on a wild population using video footage, radio telemetry, spatial analyses, and genetics, I've been able to show these four criteria in their breeding behavior, making them only the second species of bat in the world shown to use a lek mating system. Furthermore, multiple males will actually share singing roosts, and they'll actually take shifts throughout the night to sing. That is a unique behavior never seen before in a lek breeding species or a bat species. Now, although this is all very interesting, I'll admit it's not exactly Alzheimer's research, so why should we care? Well, short tails are incredibly important to New Zealand. Not only do they consume large amounts of insects, they are also important pollinators and seed dispersers for up to two dozen species of uh, plants. Unfortunately, we are losing entire populations every single year due to introduced pests and predators. The proper way to conserve a species, however, is to target their breeding behavior. If we want to conserve existing populations and create new populations, we need to target their breeding behavior. That's why a final part of my thesis will be to actually suggest meaningful conservation strategies for the species so that we can design these conservation strategies and hopefully will help protect this amazing, unique, and important New Zealand species. Thank you very much.